Hey guys, welcome to a late night special of Lainey Cooks where the hubby has asked to have some meagering noodles um, pretty much at midnight and so I'm going to show you guys how I fix this and it is yummy and delicious and it's a good late night snack or good hangover food. So the ingredients you would need, I'm going to use three bags of noodles. And if you've never had these before, these are dry stir fry noodles. You have to read because they do have some soupy ones and this is the normal one that's stir fried. I'm going to have a bowl of hot water and I have a pot with water filled um, up to probably half and then I'm going to boil this on high okay so while that's going to be boiling um, once the water starts bubbling I'll start adding my noodles we don't want to add it too early because it will melt I mean it will get soggy <laughs> okay. all right so to show you guys what I'm going to do is what I normally do is I cut my bags open and inside there are two packages that you're going to take out. This package here has the dry seasoning and the fried onion. We're going to leave that to the side. The reason why I have my hot bowl of water is because you have the seasoning oil. It's kind of hard right now. And so to make it easier when you mix everything together, I add it into my hot water. And then as you'll see, as right now it's white, it'll be clear in just a moment once the hot water melts it. So I'm gonna cut all these up and do the same for all of them. I put my own little twist into the mee goreng noodles and I will show you that in just a little bit because hubby and I, we do like it kind of spicy. And so I will show you two other additional ingredients that I'm gonna add into our noodles. And if you wanna be fancy, you can add some cilantro or green onion to this, whatever vegetables you like. I normally add cilantro to our mega ring noodles. And then, um, and then if we want some protein, I normally would add some jazz, which is pork sausage, or a fried egg. So as you can see here, look, see it, it's already melted. So make sure this is an important step because it makes mixing a lot easier. So this right here has pretty much melted and it's become clear. So make sure you do this part because if not, when the noodles are cooked and you cut this up, you're gonna sit here and squeeze all this out forever and it just takes a while to mix all this stuff up. So this is a process I, I like to do. So three other ingredients that I use to make it more spicy. Um, if you guys know with the uh, the gochujang hot paste, chili paste that Koreans eat, this is something that I add into our noodles. I refrigerate mine. It's this dark red chili pepper paste here. It's delicious. It has like a spicy, sweet smell to it. And we add this to our noodles. I go ahead and take it out just so that it can get a little bit um, room temperature when I mix it to my noodle. This stuff is really thick, so a lot goes a long way. And mine is um, the hot kind. So they have the normal, the medium, the mild, and this is the hot, hot. And I also, if you have never tried out Tam Out, I'm gonna give Tam Out a shout out. This is a company um, in Houston that makes this sate. It's like the best sate I've ever had because it has a very good um umami taste to it. As you can see, um, when I order this, they come in jars like this and they ship it to me. I have to order at least 12 jars for them to ship it because it makes it cheaper. And I like to, you know, gift these to people and pass them out, whatnot. But one jar lasts us for a while. And again, we are in January. I dated this jar back in November 26th and I still have that much in it. Um, I put this in my chow in uh, migoy you know and anything that you need a little bit of kick or spice is good with boom away so if you guys have not tried them out make sure you um, check out their facebook page and if i had a promo code i would give you guys that but i don't this is five dollars a jar and here's a phone number if you need to look at it they have a facebook page called tim out on facebook 
get in touch with them. This is just a normal jar. They also sell like the fire tam out and I have not tried that one out, but this was pretty spicy itself. So get you some of those. It's made fresh and the people are very nice. And so I might go ahead and add some jawe. Jawe is basically a pork sausage that's homemade. I got it at the local Vietnamese store and I refrigerate this and it lasts for a while. And this is good if you heat it at the microwave and just eat it plain. But I'm going to slice it up and I'm going to put it into our main garang so that we'll have some protein with it. And no egg today because it's too late tonight. But these are the ingredients. It's pretty simple and delicious. Should we have some cilantro? If I have already cut up some cilantro and green onions here that I'm going to put into our noodles and this is something that I had previously um, for some bung mok that I made and I'm going to use that for our mi garang. And then here's the sausage. Um, this is very flavorful and I love the smell of this. It has like dark um, crushed I guess you can say crush, but it's not very fine ground black pepper and I love it. It's that cracked black pepper. So when you look at it, it looks like it's moldy, but it's not. It's just the black pepper. And when I was younger, I did not like this because it was so spicy and now I love it. So I'm just going to slice this. And then we are going to serve this. As you can see, there's the black pepper here delicious and it does not taste right without the black pepper so the black pepper gives it a little kick so if you guys don't have jawe use whatever meat you have on hand if you have leftover meat from pho or any kind of food that you were eating before put it in your noodles be creative guys anything will work all right so i'm getting ready to i'm gonna go ahead and add my noodles to the boiling water so the water is boiling quite nicely now, so I'm going to go ahead and add my noodles. Alright. So, I have cooked this a few times and learned the hard way. Make sure you wash your noodles and do not let it overcook because one time I let my noodles overcook and soggy mi garang was not good. So we're going to cook this um, until it falls apart from this block and then when I pick it up and it all looks nice and um, you know flexible I guess is whenever it's done. Alright so the noodles have been cooking for a good three minutes now. As you can see it's no longer in that block. And, and if you pick up the noodles and it's wiggly like this, it's pretty much good to go. You don't want to leave it in too long because while well, I keep mine in the pot once I drain it and it's going to still kind of be cooking because we're not going to run this under hot water. So as of right now, these noodles look pretty done. So I'm going to turn off my heat. Okay. Yeah, see these noodles are pretty soft. So we're going to drain them. Very hot guys, so be super careful. Got my strainer ready. All right. Very important, do not rinse. Once you drain it, shake it a bit and throw it back into your pot. All right, I'll bring it over here. And this is where the fun begins. So I'm gonna go ahead. If you wanted to have your meat cooked, you could have thrown that in with the boiling water. I just forgot to, but we like to eat this as is, so we don't mind it, you know, tasting the way it is. But I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit in the hot noodles for a bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add about, I would say, uh, a teaspoon of the Korean chili paste. The cream chili paste, I'm going to go ahead and add that since it's like a paste, as you can see, it's pretty thick. I'm going to go ahead and add that and let it melt into my hot noodles. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add our wet ingredients. As you can see, all the seasonings nice and clear now. And so I'm going to cut these. 
and these packages what you have right here is it says sambal chili sauce and this is like a sweet soy sauce and then you have the seasoning oil all right Let's squeeze all of it in here these three sauces is pretty much what makes the noodle taste pretty good and coats it. So again, guys, don't forget this is a dry noodle. You're not gonna have sauce in here. Um, it's not meant to have any kind of water. So um, I think the first time I ate this, I didn't read the ingredients and I actually ate it like it was a soupy noodle and it just did not taste right at all. This is made for, um, meant, to be, meant to be dry. Okay, so since we opened up three packages of noodles, we're going to have three packages of the wet sauce, and then we're going to move on to the dry one. All right. And now for the dry ingredients, we have the fried onions and the seasoning. All right. Make sure to spread that nicely. This is real simple, but it is a lot of work than your traditional Arabian noodles that we normally would eat. It, it takes some work and it's pretty delicious, but it's worth the time. I'm gonna go ahead and spread my cilantro and my onion mix in here. I'm gonna take this delicious saute, the Tam Out brand, and I'm gonna scoop, I have an itty bitty spoon that I bought from Vietnam. This is like what they mix their coffee in in Vietnam. So it's just an itty bitty spoon, it's not even a teaspoon, it's more like one fourth of a spoon of a teaspoon or so so we like it spicy i'm just gonna add about that much we don't want to get like heartburn before we go to bed so i'm just not gonna add too much but enough to give us the kick all right so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna start mixing it up real good and you want to make sure you when i mix it i have a technique that i use where i use my tongs and i twist I twist the noodles and I twist it. That way all of the noodles will get nicely coated and twist and pull, twist and pull. Because as you can see, a lot of these noodles are already coated from the top. The bottom is still nice and yellow. So just mix it until it's nicely coated. So keep keep your noodles in the pot. I've seen some people mix this in a bowl, whatever works for you. But I like to keep it in the pot because my pot's still nice and hot and it helps melt, melt the sauce um, nicely. So we have a big chunk of noodle that has all this sauce here that we want to mix with all the other stuff. So you just mix it, mix it until it's nicely. As you can see how shiny these noodles are and it's from that seasoning oil. So I guess that, this is why they call it stir fry noodles. And again, you can be as creative as you want, add whatever you want. If you don't like spicy, then just add what came with the bag. And you don't have to add what I added. I'm sure sriracha would go well with this too. So if you guys like sriracha, add your sriracha. But I started off with the Korean chili paste and the tim out, and it has been a delicious combination. So I have been sticking with that. But as you can see, the noodles are nicely coated now. There you go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in a bowl, serve it, and then voila. Nice and coated. All right. All right, so I got me a, a little bowl here and I'm just gonna Mix it up again, just to be sure that I won't be taking a big bite of any kind of seasoning or sauce so that the noodles are all nicely covered. All right. We eat this at least once or twice a week, you guys. So we buy a big box of this. My, hub, my hubby loves it. Here you go. And then you add a little bit of the pork sausage to jar in here. There you go. And then just add a little more onions and cilantro. And that's it, you guys. This is my way of doing mee goreng. Very simple and easy and delicious. Good hangover meal. And as of right now, it's midnight, so it's a late night snack for us. 
um, I hope you guys enjoy this short video please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and stay tuned for more videos like this thank you guys have a great day